What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be attempting to run through Digistruck Peak as Axton here at Overpower Level 8. I don't usually play Axton, and in fact I've never run through Digistruck Peak with him before. This is my first attempt, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I obviously know how Digistruck Peak works. I've been here numerous occasions with Zero, and quite a few times with Maya as well. So it'll be interesting to see what I can do here with Axton here in Digistruck Peak. Um... I don't know, I'll be using quite a few different weapons throughout. I've been kind of developing this build using like a gorilla-ish playstyle. This is a bad spawn here in the first room. Let's see what kind of... Uh, okay, so that's repair. That's even worse. Um, but I got it stuck, so I'll just kill it. Uh, maybe this will work a little bit better to kill it. Perfect. Um, sometimes I like to block those things, body block style, just because I don't like them very much flying around on me. If you can get right on top of a surveyor, especially the bigger surveyors, you can really stop them in their tracks there, which is cool. Alright, so um, try to slag this. Get it killed as well with the creamer, which explodes a set distance away from the shot, obviously. And so you can use the creamer to great effect to kill those surveyors, which is nice. Kind of learned that in my Heroes Pass video, but uh, it came at a cost of me killing myself with the Creamer, so that was stupid. But um, you can definitely deal damage to it, you can see there. Um, I just need one slagged, basically. The w Next time this one comes around, the slagged one, it's dying. I guess I should try to slag the other one as well whilst we wait. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Um, we'll get it as it comes back around, though. Hopefully it's still slagged. We can ensure that it will be. Like that. Perfect. Alright, so now those are dealt with. Um, we're going to put that out there. Um, it's a badass. I'm going to throw one, two, three. Four grenades for good luck. But I think three would have been enough. Oh, he did back out, so the extra grenades were a good idea. Um, he's dead, though, so that's good. Um, this guy... Looked like he might have had corrosive gun, so I wanted to kill him, but I think it was just non-elemental. It was me seeing things. Cool. So we're probably almost done with this room now. Um, this is definitely the worst spawn to get, I would say, in this area. Um, the one where you get two badass enemies on the bridge. And then it's just a numerous amount of beast and uh, gun enemies alike after that. And so it's good to get through this. Um, try to finish off this uh, super badass loader here. At the very least, uh, got Metal Storm and I can do a little bit of damage to these pups. Not much though. Jeez, they're tough. All right. So uh, we'll just try to uh, put some damage down against the uh, big one there. And also uh, not die, because that would be bad, and we wouldn't want that. Oh, wow, there are two of those? That's pleasant. All right, so that's good. Um, but we need to figure out a way to kill these. So it's Firebone of the Ancient Time, and we're definitely going to go with... A fire baby maker so I can get some chuck kills. Ooh, now that this one's no longer like, uh, you know, like spell slagged or whatever you'd call that. Um, oops, almost killed myself with my own baby maker there. That would have been depressing. Um, we can really do some damage to it. This one too. If we can kill one of these, we're golden. Um, that thing we can't do too much to. Um, ooh, that thing is going to kill me. Ooh, boy. All right, this thing should be coming off of Spell Slag soon. Perfect. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get it slagged for us. Is it not slagged? Damn. Tough little bugger. And it wants to go get enchanted again. You little sucker. Oh, I guess I should probably throw this. Dang, this is not something I was prepared to take on. 
See, this is what I meant by this may be an interesting uh, test for me here on this Axton build. Um, I'm not really afraid of running out of SMG ammo. I think I'd make it through the next room without it. But I was tired of dealing with them, so I was just going to get rid of all my SMG ammo there, I guess. We'll pick this up because of the extra uh, sniper ammo it will grant us, which is good. And uh, we'll pick this up for the extra grenade as well. Perfect. Um, I'm low on SMG ammo, so maybe these three boxes here will give us something good. We'll see. Oh, forgot about how those reload. All right. Would have been terrible to kill myself there. We're going to go ahead and pick up these two boxes as well. Got a grenade, a couple more SMG ammos, pistol ammo. That's good. We used a lot of depot too. And uh, yeah, we're really, we're really well off now. We're probably at like a thousand SMG ammo and almost 750 uh, pistol ammo. So that's really good. Hell, I'm going to open these boxes too. I'm not going to be back up here. I don't see a reason not to. All right. So we got the bad spawn here. Um, that's okay. We'll work through it. Hmm, definitely don't want that. So I'm going to switch to this and this. Take out this Nomad really quick, and then we'll uh, take out this as well. Perfect. But, I mean, obviously that means we're going to get heavy surveyors, and uh, obviously the surveyors with Scorch, which are pretty irritating. So we'll try to figure out a way to deal with the Scorches. Um, I definitely don't want to be anywhere near the Scorches when they spawn. I want to be way far away, and I'll probably use a Quasar to keep them up there while I try to drag the, uh, um, try to drag the surveyors over on this side of the map. Um, speaking of dragging things over on this side of the map, that's my goal right now. I like how Onslaught enabled me to run all the way away from that RPG loader. That was really cool. Um, that's going down there, though, because I need him to stop shooting that awful corrosive thing up here and we'll take him out like this good job um you know with the uh cover there turret that was excellent i want some grenades so i'm just gonna throw on this while i wait for this thing to stop doing that might get one grenade out of the ordeal It'll also give me a chance to reload some weapons now we can kill it cool All right, so there will definitely be some enemies here, but we'll try to watch the minimap, and when we get down to one dot or whatever we think or interpret as the last enemy, we will uh, definitely make sure to be far away from uh, the Scorch Door. At least that'll be the plan. And we'll definitely make sure that our turret is active. All right, so we killed that. Um, Want to get this thing uh, slagged on this go around here? Missed apparently, or I mean, I hit him, but it didn't count. All right, so that'll deal with that. Um, I don't think that's quite scorch spawn. All right, so I can hear what that is, and uh, I think a quasar might be good. In case it's a big one. Nope, it's a little guy. I'm just going to use this guy basically to uh, call for help. Oh, that was perfect. If there's another one around, it would have called for help. But it didn't, so... Um, that means there were no more around. So I'm trying to stay out of this green circle right now because I know that uh, the Scorches will spawn um, pretty soon. And so I just want to make sure that I have a good vantage point to throw my turret and stuff if they do spawn. Okay. All right, so I threw that kind of where I wanted it. Now I want these two uh, grouped there on the wall. 
And I also want um, to be able to throw as many as of these as I can. So we'll uh, see if the... Oh, wow. Even the surveyors are attracted to it. That's awesome. Um, we're going to throw as many of these as we can. See if maybe it uh, can kill them or... I don't know. If, if the surveyors have to get close enough to hurt them or to be there, maybe I can kill them really quickly. Who knows? So at the very least, um, we killed all the surveyors with a uh, Stormfront Barrage. The problem is um, they healed our Scorches, you know, um, who were going to die. Who were definitely going to die to uh, our Stormfront Barrage, which was well executed. I didn't even put on my Expert Grenadier Calm, but um, well executed nonetheless. Um, I have six now. I don't know if that's enough. I used some quasars to get them grouped up, you know, obviously. And then I uh, used the storm fronts after that, like all 15 or the remainder of my 15 grenades after my couple quasars. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that again quite as elegantly, but we do have 12 grenades. So um, that's good for something, right? Um, I'll, I'll try this corner or I'm going to try this corner actually. And uh, we'll hope it works. We don't have too many grenades, but I I scrounged for a few so that we can have a uh, chance. So, um, there we go. Um, there. Well, um, I had to use too many of those to feel comfortable. But, um, still have seven storm fronts to throw. So, uh, we'll see if that does anything to at least one of them. That one got too close and, uh, caused too much damage to me. At the very least, it almost killed one of them. So, that's really excellent. The Stormfront Shower is definitely a good move for accident on Scorch. Um, I definitely need a shock weapon though now, and I might have to wait until my next... Uh, probably going to have to wait until my next turret to really do well. Looks like we did get a Hellfire there, which is always cute. Oh, it was just about to go to the turret as well. Oh, well, the turret should recharge fairly quickly. Obviously, I am wearing a legendary soldier and a um, Bone of the Ancients. OP7, Hellfire, not that great. Alright, hopefully that draws his attention. We'll see. If not, um, it's letting me do some damage to him through Battlefront and stuff. Um, it's weird that he's not even attracted to it. Somewhat irritating to me. Oh, now he's attacking it. Uh, maybe we'll be able to finish him off here in the end. Who knows? Oh, now he's after me again. And I got him down to like about a third health. It's pretty good. All right, so uh, one more turret spawn, basically, and then I'm sure we've got this guy. Going a little bit uh, cautiously here, but, uh, you know, I don't want to die. It's my first time with Axton. We'll see how it goes. He's at, like, very little health left. At the very least, it'll get him slagged. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and reclaim this because obviously I'm going to want it for Dukino's mom. And in fact, for Dukino's mom, I'm going to put on that comm and this relic and this grenade. And we're definitely going to be using this gun and this gun, most likely. And we're going to see um, if we're able to kill um, Dukino's mom in like 19 uh, meteor showers. We'll see. Um, we may get close. All right, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get the spawn with the midgets. I feel like that one would be better, but uh, I don't know. Probably be about six one, half a dozen the other with accident. It won't make that big of a difference, but it is the one with the midgets. So we just have to make sure the uh, turret gets hurt right away. All right, so um, that's good. Let's go for it. 
I don't know exactly where to aim it, but I do know that it can do some major damage. So, let's keep getting it over there on her. Um, I know that her stomping on it may kill it, but we've got only four or five more to throw. So, um, that's pretty good. I will leave those, though, and now that she's killed it, I'm definitely putting back on that and that. And I'll even go Chain Lightning so that maybe I can regenerate a few of those. And now it's time to uh, get the hell out of her way because she is obviously a monster. Um, we have Onslaught going there, so that's good. I can use Onslaught. Um, wow, I found the uh, perfect spot where uh, we didn't die to that and where we could uh, get another kill until that came into play again. And uh, now we can try to uh, maybe get a couple more Meteor Shower damages on her. But the main thing we want to get here is, uh, you know, just a good, solid, I'm going to use the B here, um, a good, solid amount of damage. I guess I should use grounded. This is stupid. I should just shoot her. Um, a good, solid amount of damage before, um, before Battlefront ends, basically. Now I even have uh, Metal Storm going. Metal Storm and Onslaught for some extra damage. Cool, we hit her in her mouth. Now that's good because uh, there's still a little midget around and that's awesome because I want to use one of these little midgets that's still around. Just one of them, mind you. I don't want two of them um, to maybe get some more grenade ammo. Definitely want to put on my uh, chain lightning here so I can get grenade ammo this way as well. And uh, maybe if this guy hits me, I will begin to drop um, those little grenades so that's what I'm hoping for right now we're at four grenades there's one more on the ground so we're effectively at five grenades um, I want to get to 19 grenades just in case the black queen spawn right away okay so um, cool we're up to seven grenades now eight grenades basically and this guy we just have to make sure he doesn't kill us it would be really embarrassing if he killed us I guess I shouldn't waste my sniper ammo. That's just foolish. He's going to regen that all anyway. Man. The game's being stingy with the boosters at the moment. There, the chain lightning went off. That was good. Don't want to back off the edge here. Wait for my shield to start regening a little bit. He hit me again. That's quite a few hits in a row without a booster. We're going to count how many it is until the next booster after this one comes. But this one, I think, is setting the record. I, at least I hope. <laughs> I don't want any to take longer than this one took. Man, I'm going to go two, yeah, two whole chain lightning cycles without a booster shield. And I've been getting hit pretty regu regularly. There we go, finally. So, okay, we'll count the hits now. One, two. So that one worked a lot better. One, two. Wait for my shield to recover a little bit. Three. I can probably take another hit. Four. Alright, so we're at 13 grenades now. Five. So that one only took five. That one was good. One. Two. Three. This may be foolish, and I know it is, by the way. Um, but I want to see, you know, what I can do with 19 grenades if the Black Queens spawn right away. I think I can kill them, but I'm not certain, so I want to see. Awesome. So only three more grenades to nab. Two more now. Awesome. So now we can kill this guy. The chain lightning's probably about to proc. Or at least it will before we uh, get into the next area. And uh, we're going to be fine. Okay, cool. So for the next area, we probably want to wear a fire bone. We don't want to put that on, obviously, but we do want to put this on. Um, we'll leave that on for just a moment until it gets us one more grenade. And, um, cool. Now we'll, we'll see what's in this next room. Um, Quasar is what I'll use here, though. Um, and it's either going to be Black Queens right away or a myriad of different enemies. Looks like it's the myriad of different enemies. So we're just going to leave the, uh, Grenadier Calm on, um, for these guys just because I want... Wow. Um, someone has a good gun. Um, just because I want to, uh... Whoa. Because I want to have max grenades for, uh, the Black Queens. 
All right, so um, I need to be very careful with this rabbit skag. So what I'm gonna do is put on this and really just kind of um, jump and spray. All right, so he got kind of stuck there. Um, he enabled us to do some good damage to him. But now Battlefront is gone. Um, other enemies will be creeping this way. Got good critical hits there, though. And uh, basically, he's dead now. He got stuck. Perfect. Um, we'll replace that weapon now with um, that. And we'll replace that with the Corrosive variant. And we'll actually use Corrosive. Perfect. That guy said repairs needed, but he had, like, max health. Maybe it was the other guy talking. But he had close to max health, too. And he's the one with the shitty shock rifles. Perfect. Okay. Some more enemies are going to be spawning here. Obviously, we don't want to be without um, the turret when we uh, get to the Black Queens. But when there's a rocket loader, an RPG loader on the field... You probably should, uh, especially if he has one of those speedy spread launchers. Um, you probably should, wow, um, put the turret out. But definitely won't try to kill the last enemy before the Black Queen if we can help it. Is that a rabid? Ugh. Probably our job to do something about that while that is still going on. So um, take my free hits on the rabid skag if I can. Um, he didn't give me very many. So he'll follow us this way now, and he'll get the same treatment that the first rabbit skag got. Um, death, you know, where Dukino's mom died. Maybe they're hunting for vengeance right now. I don't know, but um, I can't be bothered to deal with those while there are other things active. Not while I need my turret to, uh, you know, recharge either. Cool beans. All right, so we'll see what's happening here. No Black Queens yet. Still some enemies about, apparently. Perfect. Um, so there's at least one more dot after this on the map, so um, we know the Black Queens won't spawn until we kill everything. So whatever this last thing is, we'll welcome it over here and draw it to the gate. Um, at least that's my plan. It's a spitter skag, so it won't come all the way to the gate, probably. Unless we force it to. The reason I want it to come all the way to the gate is so that uh, I can really be in control of that Black Queen situation. I think that the Black Queens don't attack if I'm behind the gate, or at least they'll be more likely to attack the uh, turret. So that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see if it goes well. How have I not hit any of the critical hits there? All right, so I want to see if they're spawning. They're not yet, but are they now? They are now. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to back up way far, and then... Uh, Put that there, and then they'll be there, and I can slag both of them. And now it's time to throw on the fire bee and the fire bone, and, um, you know, really let them have it. We'll see how it goes. Now, the cool thing about this is it should also kill all of their babies. I hope. We'll see. Jeez, it's really tearing into some of them. Um, that's awesome. Oh, I should have kept slagging that. That was why it didn't work there, but uh, either way, um, it's almost dead. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's very, very close. Um, this should be a fire pimpernel, by the way, too. I was being lazy and not switching it. Um, that's, you know, really good. I should put back on this as well. Um... Oh, and I should be going Chain Lightning, um, just so I can regenerate some grenades while we wait here. Um, effectively wait. We're still killing, but, you know, like, it's basically over at this point for them. Cool. Black Queen's dead. Um, 
Now we just need to take out her little protégés. And uh, that was done with swift execution and haste. At least on that side of the fence. Obviously, the next area is going to be the bonehead area. And uh, it can be very tough, but uh, I'm more worried about the uh, Doc Mercy area behind it. Which is why we're definitely going to want to uh, go into the next area with as close to max ammo as we can. And uh, that way it'll be easier to have max ammo as we go into the Doc Mercy area. So right now I have five grenades. That's r where I need to be to open these uh, boxes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the fire bee strategy, it was almost flawless. I just forgot that I needed to uh, put forth some slagging towards uh, those enemies. So that was my mistake there. Thank you, Tannis, but I'm mainly looking for uh, ammo there. So if you could stock that one with grenades or uh, sniper ammo or pistol ammo, that'd be wonderful. Right now we're at 83 sniper ammo, 9 grenades, which is pretty good. We're at max rockets, which is solid. Um, now we're a lot closer to max grenades. In fact, we basically have max grenades now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a quasar for this next room. Now that we're at max grenades and 95 sniper rounds, that's really good. Um, 129, no, 19, still solid. Um, corrosive bone, corrosive pimpernel, and we're about to kill some boneheads. So, um, I know, you know, Axton's not the same sniper Zero is, but I'm positive that he'll be more than sniper enough to take out bonehead. Hopefully we get the spawn with three boneheads at once. We got the spawn with three boneheads at once. Bonehead was so named. That is awesome. I'm going to throw a couple grenades here, actually. Um, get everything nice and slagged. And then I'm going to uh, bonus package them a little bit. Just because I want uh, to deal some mass damage to these uh, guys real quickly here. Before they start throwing their grenades my way. And I just wanted to deal uh, some consistent damage to all of them so that uh, I could kill them all kind of at once because it makes the rest of these enemies a lot easier to kill if all the other boneheads are dead. Um, and if, you know, as soon as you kill one, all this other stuff starts to spawn. So it's beneficial and it serves you well to try to kill um, all three boneheads like in very quick succession like I just did there. Um, I would recommend that at least. Ah, I almost hit him with that second set. That was greedy. I shouldn't have even tried for that first one. Perfect. All right, so it looks like basically we have uh, some turrets left. And, you know, I have a turret, and they have some turrets, but uh, I also have a corrosive pimpernel, so um, I threw my turret in a shitty spot. But they're all dead. So we made it through the bonehead area both easily and convincingly. Um, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and get down to five grenades here. I wanted to get to five grenades so that I could get to uh, max grenades for this next area. I am going to be using a Quasar um, to group Doc Mercy up and uh, if you know he spawns two at once. And um, I think that'll be cool. Um, I don't know. That's probably enough grenades. So I'm going to round up all the grenades real quick uh, so that I have 15 grenades. And then I'll open some other boxes to make sure I max on everything else. Perfect. So now we have plenty of grenades. Um, how are we doing on other ammo? We're max on sniper. We're max on everything. Literally everything is max. We should go forward. Um... Probably fire in here. Probably fire pimpernel. Well, I'll leave the corrosive pimpernel on for just a moment. Um, let's go for it. Looks like everything's reloaded. I think we're doing good. Um, hmm. So that's a Doc Mercy right away. Wasn't expecting it. Um, I guess this is why I left the corrosive on. Huh? All right. So um, is he facing that? Oh, that wasn't Doc Mercy. That was a blaster nomad. Okay. Um, good. Hmm, I was assuming that was Doc Mercy. 
I was just thinking, fat guy, that's Doc Mercy. Maybe it is. Maybe that is Doc Mercy. No, it's a Warloader. Okay, so where is this guy? He needs to die. Um... Cool. Now you know what we're not going to do? Kill that Warloader. Because then Doc Mercy will spawn. And I don't really want Doc Mercy to spawn right now because I'm waiting for the turret to come back to life. So, um, I might try to knock this guy's arm off or something, but I'm not going to try to kill him. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now, you may be wondering if I'm actually going to wait for the chain lightning to get me to, uh, 15 grenades. You're damn right I am. Alright, so we're almost to 15 grenades. It will come soon. Until then, we'll continue to jump around. The idea is that I think two Doc Mercies are about to spawn right here. I'm going to Quasar them into this corner. I'm going to put a turret right there. And then I'm going to hit them up with the Fire Bees from Hell. And I think that that will do good things for them. We'll see. Definitely need to switch to the Quasar. Alright, so we're putting that there. Um, hopefully that starts attracting the enemies. Um, definitely need to get them both slagged. And uh, now I'm going to uh, one more Quasar, I guess. And uh, now it's Fire Bee time. And we'll see how the Fire Bee works um, against these guys. Really want to give it to them here. All of my Fire Bees if I can. But uh, damn it. Um, the turret died. They killed the turret because they're bastards. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them back into it a little bit. Um, because I think that the Quasar is enough to hold them in place for a little bit. And uh, I can get them killed with this. Perfect. I think that killed that Doc Mercy. Awesome. Now we have uh, just this guy to kill, maybe, and then the round's over. Perfect. Or the wave, the room. That was sweet. Um, definitely want to go uh, with that now. So that's why I wanted to wait for the grenades there. Um, Doc Mercy can be pretty irritating, but not if you put him in a Scorching Inferno like that. Um, that worked out pretty well. Two boxes here, opened or yeah, opened with five grenades, so uh, they should have had grenades in them, and they did. There's an opportunity to get to nine grenades here. We'll take it. More rockets, don't need them. Uh, make sure everything's reloaded, obviously, as we go up here. This next little area is like the only real area where you find enemies between two major areas, which is kind of strange. Um, but I've died here before, so take it very seriously, you know. Um, the assassins are probably going to be pretty tough for us, but we'll see. It's killing time. Wanna meet my girlfriend? Perfect. I'm glad that finally... Oops, that's not the grenade I wanted to throw. It looked like a storm front in my little HUD, so I assumed it was a storm front. Um, that was dumb of me. Alright, no reason to uh, not use a fire pimpernel here, so I'm going to put that on. Perfect. So we got one of them dead. Um, the other two are harder for me to find right now. Um, that's okay. We'll come over to this side and see if uh, we can't hit one of them for some good damage here before the uh, Battlefront bonus ends. Cool. Um, now it's just this one. We'll see if we can't kill him too. Probably won't be able to kill him before Battlefront ends because it's over. But... Um, can take some pot shots on his head here. Um, which is good. I'm going to throw two grenades here just because I need to get to five grenades anyway. And, uh, that should be good for us. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and open some boxes here. Trying to get to max grenades, trying to get to max ammo, basically, before we go into the assassins. This is the biggest potential stumbling block that I see in the run. Um, hopefully it goes well. We will determine that, obviously, you know, when we get in there and everything. Um, 
yeah. I'm just hoping it goes well at this point. Ah, that was stupid. I need to get one lower on grenades. Um, so there we go. I don't think I opened these two boxes down here. So now that they're open, I'm going to throw on the chain lightning just to make sure that we're going to get to 15 grenades. But I'm sure we are. Um, 85 sniper rounds, not bad. Max pistol ammo, that's good. Um, max launcher ammo, probably won't use it too much, but nice to know. Um, SMG ammo is probably maxed. So, yeah, we're good. Um, we're damn good. I'm going to put the Quasar on, and we're going to try to best these assassins. They're tough. Depending on the spawn we get, it may be damn tough. Hopefully they have all benign weapons. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, you know, like single-shot Jacob shotguns with terrible accuracy or um, like a non-elemental doll pistol, something. Who knows? Watt. And, uh, Wreath right off the bat, huh? Alright, so, um, if Wreath is there and he's gonna attack that, I'm gonna throw, like, just a few storm fronts. I, I need him dead, basically. Um, the storm fronts aren't doing near enough to him. More storm fronts, I guess. Crap, he needs to die before my turret does, or it runs out. Um, he died, though, so that's golden. Um, that'll cause a lot of other crap to spawn, though. So I'm worried, um, for certain. Um, I'm gonna throw on a Quasar here. I think it'll be beneficial. Oh, God. Um, I didn't expect that. So, um, to deal with that, they make a corrosive weapon. It's a sniper. And you can also put on a corrosive bone. And we hope that uh, Watt behaves himself. Or we simply wait for the turret to come back, which is soon. We're going to put it here-ish or something. Hey, hello, beautiful. All right, so um, th this should allow us to kill the spider tank. Perfect. Now, unfortunately, um, that signaled the spawn for Roof. Um, dick extraordinaire. Um, so we're going to draw him in a little bit there with that. And uh, hit him up with a Fire Pimpernel a couple times. Oh, I don't have one right, right now. So um, maybe Fire Baby Maker? I don't know. Alright, so, um, he's over there. Um, I'm going to pull out the fire pimp and, uh, give it a shot here against, uh, Watt. Ah, I missed some shots. Oh, he took a knee. We might have had him, but, uh, we got messed up there. Um, so, gotta throw that. Gotta throw that. Um, gotta get that. Ooh. Um, we need grenades very, very badly. Unfortunately, that dick is right on top of him. Um, so we're, we're kind of screwed, um, probably. But um, maybe not. Might get it here with just uh, this pimp against this dude. Maybe. Who knows? Um, he'll probably charge here, throw grenades. Um, oh, God. Awesome. It didn't kill me. The turret's coming. If the turret can come, we can survive. Um, we just need the turret to come. Look at that, the turret's here. The savior, as some call it. Um, now hopefully we can just uh, get an uh, angle where we can kill this guy, but the other enemies can't shoot at us, including him. All right, he's he's like within killing blow. Um, obviously I don't have killing blow skill, so we're just gonna go for uh, you know the killing pimpernel here. Again, that didn't take off our shield, that grenade. So that was good. Um, now we have a ton of ammo left. For these two dudes who are respectably chilling. I don't know why they're chilling, but I will take it. Um, whatever. 
Okay, so um, I probably shouldn't have woke them up, but my turret was going to do it anyway. So now I need my turret to come back, basically. Um, and then I need to get to these two boxes for uh, sniper and grenade ammo. Ooh, elemental grenades are not anyone's friend. Hopefully I don't get trapped in here. I'm very scared. I'm very, very scared. All right. Um... Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I survived that, um, but barely. I need to find an enemy and uh, get that one slagged for certain. Oh my gosh, if I can get some ammo, we might, might just survive. Move, don't do that. Um, oh my god, I was worried about this. Um, getting two or more, getting more than two assassins at once was my biggest fear, and um, I should have killed Watt before I killed the spider tank, I guess. Alright, um, so that, if he sits here and punches that, I can really whittle him down with the Pimpernel. Um, it will just take forever. Um, so... We might try this. We might go at him with a little bit of this action. Perfect. We got him. He's dead. We won. Okay. Um, shit, that was difficult. But, Axton prevails. Because Axton's dope. Let's move forward. Um, yeah, we don't want the orphans to catch us, as Tannis would say. Um, put on... Oh my god, that's embarrassing. That's why that was so fucking hard to do with the fire pimpernel. Whatever. Um, <laughs> damn, I should have had on my fire boat of the agents in there. That was stupid. Um, really stupid. I could have finished with that so much more elegantly, but whatever. It's done. We're going to kill this thing. Um, and then the next thing we're going to kill is that thing down there because I don't like it being all dangerous and such. So, um, we're going to begin to kill it because it does things like that. All right. So now that it's dead, I feel a lot more comfortable up here. Um, and we can kill this thing now. Catch a rocket, it says. All right. Um, let's look. What what do we have? Oh, that was awful. Okay. So we're going to need to figure out something to do with them here in a minute. But for now, um, I'm going to throw my turret and hopefully distract it. And uh, then we'll continue to take out these surveyors, which are everywhere, apparently. Perfect. Um, now, if that guy's going to sit right there and uh, I have Metal Storm active, I will Metal Storm him. Perfect. This obviously isn't the last enemy, so I'm not worried about that. Obviously, when the last enemy, oh god, is coming, I am going to want to have um, both you know, cover and uh, metal storm, or not metal storm, but the turret active. Perfect. We killed that guy, which needed to be done. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we can kill uh, these guys without the turret. Looks like we will be able to. Hopefully this is the last guy. Sometimes there's usually... Er, Sometimes there's a dude, like, way back there that uh, we'll still have to kill. Oh, we are actually seeing another enemy spawning. Two enemies, actually. So I'm going to need my turret to kill this guy. It's That's plain to me. Um, so we'll go ahead and um, pull it out and um, try to get him attracted to it, for one thing, because that needs to happen. And for two, hit him with it. I mean, he's like half dead. 
That's something. Wish he'd turn around. Whoa. I need to run. We're in a bad, bad, bad spot. Um, luckily, that will heal us um, now that we're at max shield. So that's good. If it wants to come play games, I'll heal a little bit on this. Perfect. Okay. Um, now we're good. Perfect. I know those things don't usually like to come in there. You can coerce them into there, obviously. But, uh, like, ordinarily, if you lead one over there, um, it'll kind of just stand there. And that's a good option to take those things out because those things are maddening. All right, so Saturn is spawning. Um, what I want to do is I want to put this somewhere where they'll aim at it. I want to make sure I have that on. And I want to put on a uh, B shield, probably grounded, why not? And uh, I want to get a kill, basically, off one of those turrets. And then I want to concentrate strictly on one Saturn. Um, that was stupid, though, because I got hit. Um, I guess my turret uh, died. So now I'm just hoping I stay above Healthgate, basically, or get above Healthgate through preparation, which isn't the quickest healing skill. But, um, should do fine. Now, you be careful, honey. now I need to move, basically. Because that thing has come all the way up here. And, uh, my turret won't live forever. So I need to get over here. Um, this is bad right now. I didn't want one Saturn to already be up here. Especially since it's not the Saturn that I started doing damage on. And that's really quite poor. Luckily, um, buy more ammo. I'm in the right spot. So that's good. Somehow my turret is holding strong um, by a little bit more ammo here. Reload. And uh, we'll begin to go for it. Apparently he still has one turret alive. I'm trying to see where it is here. Um, it must be this hip. Yep. If we can kill that, um, that gives us Metal Storm. And uh, we can kill it now. Uh, we were going to be able to kill it until uh, big ol' beam... That's okay. We got our health. That's the important part. And now this Saturn is dead. Also the important part that uh, one Saturn is dead. Once one Saturn is dead, you really should be able to make it out alive. Um, we'll see. Dang. Extended Metal Storm bonus here. We went off the first Saturn into the uh, other Saturn's turret. So um, that did a ton of damage to him. And uh, he's like at a quarter health. Less than that, really. Less than 20%, I'd say. Um, so we'll just continue to try to take him out. He must feel as if he's in a terrible position to try to hit me or something because, uh, Hello, he's not even trying to attack me. I figured throwing my turret might make him move. And so that was what I was trying to do there. All right. So good. We made it through the Saturn's relatively easily, not super easily. Um, Saturn's room gave me a little bit of trouble. Obviously, I used quite a bit of Deepa ammo there, but um, we're all right. We got to make it through the next, the next room, and then the next room after that, and then the boss. So there's still a lot in front of us, but we are past the assassins. And usually, when I'm doing a Digistruct run, if I get past the assassins, I'm pretty stoked. That means made it, you know, well over halfway through, I'd say, and uh, definitely through the hardest part. Um, Doc Mercy was a pretty cool kill on this run. You know, he killed the turrets, or somehow they killed the turret, and, uh, then we kept them in the Fire Bee radius with the Quasar, which does a bit of damage itself. The Quasar's no, no, uh, you know, ah, what do they call it in the TLC song? Hmm. I've completely lost my train of thought here. Or I know my train of thought. I've lost this word. Scrub. Yes, the Quasar is no scrub, um, but, uh, you know, obviously the Fire Bee does more damage, but still the combination of the two, we're able to win, and so that was pretty sweet. Now this is what's commonly known as an RPG loader, and uh, they're generally asshats. So, um, we'll need to figure out a way to deal with it. And that's how I'm dealing with it. 
Speaking of dealing with things, um, I would have tried to kill that, but I'll get it on its next go-round, or maybe I'll just get it now that uh, the turret's done all the work, taking its shield down and slagging it. So the turret's done a good job there. I know that no more enemies will spawn until I proceed into that circle again, so I'm just kind of waiting for the turret to uh, recover, because it is a buddy of mine. No reason to rush things at this point. Not going for any records. Alright, we'll put that there. Um, this is a sergeant loader, and that's just a surveyor. So I'm not too worried about the surveyor, especially since it's a shield surveyor. We'll kill it, and then uh, the turret has slagged this for us, so we're going to finish it. And then that gave us Onslaught. And uh, not only Onslaught, but uh, Metal Storm. And uh, all of those things are aimed over there for a brief moment as they tried to kill my turret and succeeded. Either way, though, um, it gave me the offensive firepower to take out all of these in rapid succession. So that was pretty sweet, pretty swell. Um, we'll begin to slag these guys and, oh my, um, things that are not swell. Those things right there. So, um, what are we going to do? Fire, probably, and uh, Baby Maker, probably. And that's what we'll do. Um, I mean, it's going to get one of them to really low health, but I think the repair surveyors will come in and mess me up. Huh, I won the battle. But that was effective for them on the war front because I did consume, like, a shitload of ammo. Um, whatever. Yeah, I'll put on the Trespasser, one of the weakest guns in the game. Um, I'm going to put on this. Ha! Ah, they suck at healing. These things blow. Come back here. Awesome. I think that's it for this room. One more room to go, and then the badass, or the, the boss. Whew. Let's hope we make it. <laughs> a lot of grenades there. I don't actually need grenades right now. Um, I'm still using the Quasar as a grenade. I guess that will work for this next room. Um, hopefully I don't get the stupid shit with like maximum badass surveyors. That one's always a thorn in my side. Um, we'll see. What do we have? Meow. Yes, it's the one I like. Okay, um, so that's kind of cool. Um, that's not cool that I almost backed up off the edge. Probably going to want some uh, corrosive damage here, I feel like. All right, so there's a lot of stuff coming, um, including some surveyors here. Not the not of the super badass variety, just of the regular repair variety. And so uh, they're not incredibly dangerous, but want to treat them with respect. Because they can kill us, but they're not going to. Watch the turrets up on the train if they're there. They're there. They do silly things. All right. Um, they don't shoot you over here, though, which is nice. Okay, so, um, now it's time. Probably going to use the B. Um, probably going to use the Pimpernels. Whew, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Let's see how it goes, though. What grenade would be good? Um, probably nothing. Going weak sauce, just in case. Um, I assume that he's like a constructor and is completely, or not completely immune, but, uh, close to completely immune to, uh, oh my, 
That's going to absolutely wreck him. Jeez, that's awesome. And then we got the Metal Storm bonus too. All right. Um, let's get out of his way while our turret recovers. But we'll sneak some shots off the back end. We ain't no, no cheaters here. But uh, it worked out. That was pretty easy, actually, to kill that guy. Um, all in all, the run wasn't that bad. My gorilla type Axon build is legitimized now. I feel much better. Um, it's also six in the morning. Um, so that's good stuff. Uh, we made it, you know, uh, Digistruct Peak. Yeah, I've been playing Axon for a couple days now, so can obviously beat Digistruct Peak. Um, hmm. Use the Creamer, the Pimpernel. Um, I did use the B for um, Dukino's mom, Saturn, and oh my god, what the hell. Probably didn't need it for oh my god, what the hell. I mean, um, it would have taken a lot longer, but it seemed like the Pimpernel was doing good damage and stuff. Anywho, um, use the Legendary Soldier, except for the time I used the uh, Expert Grenader. I used different Bone of the Ancients the way through. I don't know if I used the Shock one. I did. I used all three uh, Bone of the Ancients, and I also used the Elemental Relic. Beyond that, I was using um, Baby Makers at, at times. Um, I didn't want to use the big rocket launchers, the Bada Boom or the uh, Norfleet, just because I thought it would cheapen the challenge. Um, I did use Pimpernels, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I used the Antagonist for most of it. Um, I used a bunch of different grenades as we went through here, including the Quasar, the Meteor Shower, the Bonus Package, the Stormfront, I didn't use any fastballs. Perhaps I could work that through in a uh, future run. And I also used the Fire Bee, obviously. So um, there we go. Beat uh, Destruct Peak here at Overpower Level 8 with my Axton build and my Axton playstyle. Um, that's pretty cool. You know, I'm glad I can do it. Um, it was pretty challenging, not super challenging. Like I said, it was my first try. But I did, you know, practice in other maps beforehand, including... South Boss Demon Power and Heroes Pass to learn a little bit about Axton before I came here. So that was good. Um, I'm glad it's done. I'm, you know, I'm happy that it's done. We're going to check these chests here. People usually seem to like that. Sometimes we get cool stuff. We probably got at least one legendary in that run. I can't remember. This run's probably like atrociously long. It's made me uh, tired. Then again, it is six in the morning. So, um, hmm. Got a uh, Topnia there. Topnia is a pretty cool bandit grip, so it has a knife on it. E-Tech Blaster. I don't really like E-Tech weapons other than SMGs and launchers. But um, we'll see what's in the last two chests, and then that'll be it. So as always, guys, I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. Um, I apologize if some of this commentary seemed tired, but I was tired. I... Woke up at like 3 in the morning and I decided to do uh, some stuff. I did some homework and then I did this. Um, so I'm just going to go to work off waking up at 3 a.m. I guess. I hope it's not a big deal uh, for me. Obviously, I'm not going to tell anybody, but I hope it turns out. We'll see. Uh, I got to get this video to rendering, though. So uh, this is going to be pretty much the end of this. Um... You know, as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe and you want to see some more uh, content, primarily for Zero, but, you know, also sometimes Maya and now sometimes Axton as well, um, you'll be seeing that on my channel in the near future. Um, yeah, hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.